All right, Earl, Virginia, back in the field. Just wanted to show you a little addition I got. I got finally got the uh, AT Pro adapter or headphone adapter. So I got my killer bees. I'm happy as a camper. I just didn't like the Garrett headphones. I didn't like the way this jack set up. So the killer bees, you know, the, the adapter lets me run my headphone jack to the back. It's just mounted to the old uh, wire mount. Come out, it's got an angle plug in. And I got my killer bees and I'm really loving them. But I got my first signal this morning. Kind of a high end iron hit. But I got me a beautiful little Colt pistol bolt. And uh, couldn't be happier. Start the day off. Kind of in the area that's on the edge of uh, the power line cut. So there's a lot of trash in it, but I thought I'd hit it anyway. Haven't been up this side of the field, close to the road. Got me a nice little coat bullet. I love the pistol. I love the pistol shot, so it makes me a happy camper. Later. Alright, this is Earl trying to trying to use my meter a little bit today. I'm using the Pro Custom and drop down the iron discrimination down to about 26. For some reason or another. I would think that Pro Zero and Pro Custom are pretty much the same, except for the iron discrimination is turned up. But the low end brass seems to be popping up. But I got a signal right now, it's reading about 61. It's in this dirt right here. Let's see if we can find something. And yeah, I might have to get the meter out. Hang on, guys. All right, I now know it's in my hand. Pretty sure right there it is. Looks like it's a piece of brass. It is a piece of brass. Pocket knife end. It's a little cap off a pocket knife. That's kind of cool. A little end cap. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. What the difference is on the got to look up in the book, Pro Custom, Pro Relic, or Pro Iron. But I've been throwing on the custom here in the last couple signals, man. The low end brass just pops up a whole lot better than what it does on Pro uh, Zero. I wouldn't think it'd be any difference, but I'm gonna run it in this for a while and see what happens. I'm picking up some small brass. Got a rivet over there, and uh, just got this ink cap. There's a. There's a little rivet, no big deal. That's what you usually find in caps, a ton of them rivets. So pick that up, low end iron, 35 or so. This read about a 51. All right, guys, later. It's been a while since my last signal, but. <clears throat> Looks like another drop. 58 caliber three ring. Beautiful color of these bullets coming out of this field. Nice and white. A lot of drops. A lot of drops. Alright guys, see you at the next hole. Later. Been a while, but I got a signal. Another drop 58. Five inches today. Signals are kind of good, kind of bad. I haven't found anything for a while, so this is a good sign. Later. Again, another one of those really, really crappy signals, but it had a tweak of something in the uh, Pro Custom. It had just a small tweak where it every once in a while it would jump up to 55, 72. But most of the time, it was just a low 10, 12 crap with a tweak in between and dug it. And the hole's not that deep. It's only about three or four inches deep. For some reason or another, I dropped one there. just didn't want to ring right. Another drop 58. Later, guys. Need some help on this one, guys. Looks like a Colt pistol. And the rifling on that looks like it might be more modern, so. Definitely got some rifling grooves in it. I don't know if it 
showing up on my film or not. But got any thoughts whether uh, Civil War or not? Pretty sure it is, but I don't know. That rifling looks a little weird. It might be a modern slug, or more modern. Give me some thoughts. Hasn't been too long since the Doug 58. Probably about 20, 30 yards away. Later. This is Earl from Virginia doing a quick wrap up in the last two digs. Did a clean up and thought I'd show my finds. Uh, for today, basically I just got, didn't get a whole lot. To get a nice little uh, pistol variant and another pistol shot. Looks like a Colt. Uh, like I said, it's got some rifling on it. So. Any thoughts? Give me your opinion. And this one is really I dug some of these before in one of Sheridan's camp. I uh, actually dug about five of these before in Sheridan's camp. Looks like, like a little variant. Looks like the rim, uh, rimfire casing is on it. Pistol shot. You don't find these too often. It's a nice little bullet. And of course, I got a rivet and end off of a end guard off a knife, a little pocket knife, a little brass, little brass medallion piece off the end of the knife, and three drop 58s. Nothing special about them. And over here we got this is yesterday's digs. Um, they get a nice couple of little pieces of brass. Got a J hook and bat wing. Any thoughts on how to straighten that out without breaking it? I appreciate the feedback. Looks like it's an old bend. I don't know if the plow did it or they actually did it when they stripped it off or it fell off, but it's still got one rivet right there on the end. So they might have pried it off the belt. I don't know why they would have done that, but. Pretty sure it came off a carbine, carbine sling belt. Should have been a carbine buckle Sorry, and a D ring with a snap swivel. I'll go back and try to see if they're there, but I doubt it. But I also got a nice uh, eagle button. A lot of details missing off the face, and the shanks broke off. But it is whole, no cracks. A little push in the face. Other than that, it's not too bad. Big old fired, almost point blank fired 58. Got a 69 caliber round ball. Got another carbine bullet. I'm not exactly sure which that one is. Got a couple of these before. I got a third one. Well, it's been a while since I dug one of them. I can't remember. Been a while since I dug one of them. Another drop weighting cleaner. Two drop 58s. Uh, that one's been ran real hard. 58 was rammed hard when it's loaded. And although it looks like it's dropped. Oh, no, it's probably fine. It's going to be non six. There's one one, another one that's been one one. ran pretty hard. Right, Might even have another bullet on top of it. I'm not sure which. Kind of hard to tell. Probably from the ramrod, though. And then I got one, another one that's been wormed. Pulled out. Loaded and pulled out. Get the worm grooves in it. I don't know if it shows up in detail on the camera, but it has been wormed out. You didn't go very deep with it, it came out though. And of course the camp, the camp lid, no big deal there. So that's it, last two days. Sorry about the scanner, I'll turn it down. Uh, last two days dig, about five hours digging in the field. And uh, hope y'all get out and have fun, man. It's been beautiful two days out. Wind's been blowing. A little rainy yesterday, but it hasn't been too hot. And got some digs showing up. And I got some finds showing up. So, y'all have a good day. Later. This is Earl from Virginia. Bye.